No. No. All right, generic readings, fellow citizens of the internet, this is, of course, Richard, and today I bring you another episode of FOV. As you can see, as you just saw, I have been busy, and as you can see now, I have, in fact, figured out horses. Uh, the bare hand thing, yeah, I got it, I got it. Uh, because if you try and get on a horse, if you've got something in your hand, it won't work. And can get on if you just have a bare hand. So that's that's the idea there. Uh, so I did I did train, I did uh, um, tame that one horse there. Uh, he seems not bad. Uh, and I wanted to look at a couple more before I really got started here. And this one's not bad. Or at least it, I don't know, the, the hearts aren't too bad. Uh, it's not well, there we go. Hello. Wait, no, you're not supposed to throw me off once I've tamed you. Okay. I should have. I should make leads. Actually, that's what I should do. Uh, cause I do not have. That. I think that's a baby zombie. Oh, yep, that's a baby zombie. Hello. Get away from me. Where did you even come from? Why aren't you on fire? Good gracious. Okay. No, that's not what I want. Uh, how do I... Oh yeah, okay, there we go. Take off the saddle. Him? No! I d Where are you coming from? This is not good. This is, this is scary. I don't want baby zombies in my face all the time. Must be coming from the cave over there or something. Alright, so that was this guy that I already tamed. Alright. So let's give him... Take him out for a spin. How good a jumper. Oh, that looks actually pretty good. 
I have not done much with horses, and my judgment is not great at this point. That looked pretty good. Oh yeah, that that that's got some lift on it. Haha, <laughs> horses are fun. Oh, oh, sorry about that. Alright, yeah. Horses are definitely great fun. Oh yeah, that's the, this one's a jumper. Ah, uh, I'll have to keep this guy in mind. But again, I don't have any leads, so I should probably quit before too long while I'm ahead. Uh, let me grab the saddle again. And... Is this... Are you not my horse? Oh, no, this is not my horse. I thought this was my horse. I'll tame this one as well, see what he's like. Ah, there we go. Oh, and yes, you can use wheat on horses. And that's... I had lots of wheat, and I just, I, I thought of bales of hay, and I didn't think of wheat. Whatever. Uh, this guy looks okay. Oh, again. I don't know. How, how does this compare with actual block heights? Let's see, like, eh, that's what, three blocks? Uh, eh, he's not a bad jumper. And he does seem to be reasonably fast. He's got 13 hearts. That's good. Whoa! Whoa! That's not good. Okay. Okay. Problems occurring right about now. Should have known I'd do something like this. I always do. And of course I was training, tr trying out training horses right next to a ravine. That's just awesome. Great planning on my part. Can this guy not? No, 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 no! Don't, don't do that. All right, I guess I will get things back in order, and then I will meet you someplace else. All right, I'm back at my sort of secondary base, base two. Call it the binary base. Uh. I got out of that ravine eventually, uh, although it took long enough that it was actually getting nighttime by the time I got out, and I had to sort of leave the horse there. Uh, so hopefully it's okay, um, along with my saddle. Uh, hopefully all that's okay. Um, I sort of needed to bail because I was a bit too close to my village, and I really, really don't want to load those chunks at night. Because if anything happened to those villagers, I'd feel awful. Um, and I'm, I'm sort of slightly worried that I might have strayed too close. But hopefully it'll be alright. can go check now. I turned down my render distance during the night, so maybe that helped. I'm not sure. I think it just made it so that I couldn't really see where I was going. Uh, one way or another I managed to get back there. And hopefully this will be okay. So yeah, you saw in the clips I showed before that I've got all kinds of cool stuff going on. Uh, and I've worked a bunch on all kinds of different things. Planted some trees around here. It's looking pretty nice. And I also worked on the wall quite a bit. As you can see, it's got a top part coming in over there. Um, and that's that should be really cool uh, once I get that finished. And I'll probably just keep working on it in bits and pieces. But you can sort of see where it's going. What it's going to look like. That dirt, as you might be able to assume, is actually standing in for glowstone. Haven't been to the nether yet, sort of hope to do that this episode. Uh, but we shall see what I have time for. Uh, but then, got the entrance over here. And, e that, that wasn't good. Uh, freezing sort of nonsense. But yes, this is the entrance. I think it looks pretty good. Uh, I'm going to have this open up to sort of a big open area and can take out these farms. Um, they're sort of in the way a bit. And... <coughs> excuse me. Um, then it'll probably be... Okay, good, the villagers are fine. Ah, I've been experimenting with some stuff here. It doesn't really work. Uh, at some point I'll go through and probably just redo a bunch of this and get some good pathways in and sort of redo everything, make it look nice. But that might be later this episode as well. I don't know. We'll see.
But for now, uh, I guess I will drop off. What can I drop off? Oh, not much. I don't have room in the chest. Okay. Um, I'll drop off some coal here, some redstone. I'm probably gonna need that later. Oh, and this chest is still here. <laughs> it's sort of embedded in the floor. I'll move that, and when I probably want to move all that. Uh, and I may as well, while I'm here. Ah, that's not good. I wish it wouldn't sort of freeze like that. I, also, I sort of got bits of the wall continued all the way around. Um, and it's still sort of marked off in spots, and so... And, and this is sort of the biggest section that's complete. So this is the top. Um, and I will show you what these are going to be for later. But then this is a pretty nice view from this. And on this side as well, so I think that'll work out quite nicely. Should be very good sort of look for the build. Just now, uh, I think I'm actually going to head this way, because one of the things that I've really wanted to get going is an enchantment table. I've got almost everything that I'm going to need. Eat some carrots. Don't want to starve to death. Uh, I've got a bunch of sugarcane planted, which is going to start coming into view soon. Um, and I got, oh yeah, I got a car, I got the cow farm started. Um, it is actually a cow and sheep farm because some sheep followed me back as well. But that's cool, and hopefully I'll be able to separate them off at some point for convenience sake. For now, they're all just sort of lumped in. It's this one little pen there. But whatever whatever and it's fine for now sooner or later I'll get it fixed up and so forth and so on along with all the rest of the stuff that I want to get done at some point but as you can see over here I this was all ordinary forest and I sort of replanted a dense birch forest for harvesting purposes and this is my sand quarry uh, this is where I've been getting all my sand and so forth. I didn't really mean to fall down there. It's all good. And I put together this sort of structure here for temporary sort of purposes. Got ladders on the inside that mobs can't climb up, but I can. Sort of thing. So it's really easy to get in and out. Uh, the chunks have been loaded, so they still don't want to breed. Okay, whatever. This will be the sheep pen, probably. Unless it it's pigs or something, and this is chickens. And I'm slowly expanding it this way, uh, like row by row, uh, grabbing the sand and the sandstone from it, and the cobblestone as well, because for some reason I'm, I like hate myself and want to waste all of my time. Grab a lot of cobblestone, decent amount of sand and stuff. Grab this book, and now seems to be as good a time as any to make that da 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 enchantment table yes hooray awesome that no give me those I think I'm gonna put that right about uh how about right about here uh here and that should be good I'll be able to expand this put some books around make it proper Eventually, I'll move it into whatever base gets finished first. Uh, I might set up a spot in the crown of Gerardus, or possibly might end up getting the cartographer's cradle up and running first. I don't know. But one way or another, here will be good for now. I am actually going to take a bit of time off camera, I think, and finish up grabbing what leather I'm going to need and then I will get back and do an enchantment. Uh, I want to enchant my diamond pick, and I want my first enchantment to be a level 30 on this thing. Then I'll probably just do basic level 1s on my armor and my tools and stuff. So I'll be right back. No! Bad creeper! Very bad creeper! Bad... No. That that was that was very very sad. Very very sad and very very bad in general. That was that was that wasn't good. 
<sighs> Alright, I'm... I'm... I'll rebuild, I'll, I'll... I was just sort of... I've been AFKing and... Waiting for the... Thing to reset, and then... Hopped in here, to do some breeding, and then... I realized that there was a creeper in here as well. And the next thing I knew... Everything was exploding. <sighs> Alright. I'll fix it up. So forth and so on. Breed up some cows. Then I'll be back. What? 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 I, I do know that it's from the swamp over there. That makes sense. Swamp equals slimes. Now I've got slime balls, that's good. Very, very good. Yeah, swamp land right here. Slime just came right over, dropped right in, and confused me a whole lot for a very short amount of time when I saw a slime and really wasn't expecting to see a slime. Alright. Finally, I have the leather I need. That took quite a decent chunk of time. Now, everything should be in order. Get some books going. Uh, I'm gonna need some of this. Let's see, am I gonna have enough? Mm, no. Probably not. Well, actually, yes. There we go. Yep. Excellent and very good. Very good. And do 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 do. I did something wrong. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. It's okay. Boop. Uh. Do whatever. And all right, very good, very good. That will serve me well. And now, I guess, oh, just plop some torches down and do some basic boring enchantments on my almost broken sword. My reasonably good bow. I, uh, this bow dropped from a skeleton at one point. That was very nice. Um, unbreaking's good. Let me take off my armor. Let's get some enchantments on that. Protection's good. Protection's good. Keep it rolling. Protection is very good. And... Oh, yes! That was a level one! Yeah! Protection and feather falling. Oh, that, okay. Very, very good. That makes me very happy. All right, that rounds off what ended up being a very derpy episode, but ended well, so it's all good. I do have slime balls now. I've got a decent cow farm. I've got ever-growing wall and some horses, a horse in a ravine. Uh, everything will be sorted out next episode. I will take care of everything, or maybe I won't. But one way or another, next episode I'll probably go to the nether and so forth and so on. But for now, I think this is pretty much an episode's worth of footage, so with that, I will conclude this episode and respectfully bid you farewell for now.